Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to episode 4 of Satisfactory 1.0. We've been having a great time so far in this, uh, this update. Now, most of the stuff is similar, but it still feels exciting and fresh because it's 1.0, and I haven't played since the nuclear update, so this is all fresh for me. Um, the whale space tick thing is always just chilling in our base, it seems. And I repositioned some things, so now the awesome sink stuff is kind of out of the way over there. And this is kind of our iron mall for now, and we're going to be building most of our base on this, but we need to get it on top of some pillars. So I'll need to... I'll need to start spending some points in the awesome shop here. Uh, which I haven't rebuilt. Oh no, I'm missing iron plates. Um, you know what? I'm making iron plates to sink right here. So I will just take one. <laughs> um, the awesome shop. Yeah, and so by doing plates, we're getting about 240. I'm also getting rid of some random iron ingots I had, so they're mixed in right now. But yeah, I want the metal pillar or concrete pillar. I'm not sure. Um, how do you go back? Oh, like a backspace. Uh, metal pillar is iron and concrete, if that matters. Concrete pillar is just concrete, so they actually do have a different cost. Frame pillar requires steel. Uh, I'll go with the metal pillars for now. Fun fact. Architecture was invented when people began building buildings. If Fun it had fact. been invented yep. slightly beforehand, perhaps more old buildings would still be around. Humanity sometimes lacks vision. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so big pillars are big. You heard it here first. Um, no. Wow, you really can't see very well. I don't. This is the lumen thing. Yeah, it's like seeing the underside. It's very dark. I, I'm still not sure if I like that or not. Uh, we'll we'll keep trying it. I do know there are lamps. I do need to unlock some lamps, uh, and that will help. Have we unlocked any sort of lights yet? I don't think I have. No. For now it's very dark under here. I'm not... being in the right spot. Here we go. Alright, I also think in this episode we want to... Whoa! See, and why did everything just turn red all of a sudden? That was not a smooth transition. I assume it's sunset related, but that was really weird. I assume maybe it's the moon rise turning everything red? I don't know what is going on. Whatever it is, it's all a little too aggressive for my taste, lighting wise. Um, I might change... I don't know if the medium changes that much. I still don't know... Oh, wait, that's conveyor visual quality. Well, I want that to be high, of course. Uh, I don't really know what medium versus full does on the global illumination. I'm not totally sure. I should maybe Google it and read. But yeah, anyway, I want to work on quality of life stuff, so I would really like... The Blade Runners, and that means I need to go find some quartz. So, let's do that. But before we do that, I need to make sure I have plenty of food. And I need to take portable miners with me. I have nine, that feels like plenty, and I need to leave behind a lot of my materials so I don't waste stuff. I'm going to put away that, I'm going to take the berries, and I'm going to put away pretty much most of this stuff. And if we're lucky, 
We will also, I don't need biofuel or the chainsaw. If we're lucky, we'll get um, some hard drives on the way, which is another thing that I need. I want the zapper and the berries. I'll put away the chainsaw. Okay, so I'm gonna go get some quartz. And I think it was in this direction. I can't remember. Find out soon. Will it show me on the map? Uh, maybe not, but this is the closest one. So away we go to grab however much quartz we can fit in our inventory while the factory will continue humming along without us. I did go get some more biomass again between episodes, uh, so we should be set for a while. And I added one more set of generators, so now we're at eight biomass generators, which technically we cannot support the production of. So the biomass that's feeding into the bi solid biofuel constructor. There's only, you know, it's a belt that can only carry 60 a minute. And because of that, we can only make enough fuel to support seven and a half generators, and I have eight. So technically I can't make my full amount of power right now. Oh, here's one. Found it. All right, time to do some hog fights. In the dark, where I can't see. Oh, I guess I have a flashlight. Let's not forget the flashlight. Dude, come back. I have alien DNA samples I need to collect. And where'd the other one go? You just run off into oblivion? No, he's over here. Alright. Oh! Also, I forgot that there were, like, advanced resources at these crash sites. There were just 38 reinforced iron plates right here that I could have grabbed at the beginning of the game. And think of how much time that would have saved me to have 38 of those, right? Like, that's a big deal. 26 rotors. That was a lot of handcrafting time. Oh, needs 40 megawatts. That's the worst. So I personally don't love this system of having to power up hard drives sometimes. Um, the biomass ones are kind of just annoying because you are, the ones that are lower power are annoying because you just have to get some biomass burners real quick. But then there's the ones that need more power and really they're always low enough that you just have to build power poles to get there. The ones that require items, I like a little better. Usually it's like, oh, bring me 500 screws or whatever. But the power ones feel a little weird. Um, you just do that. Feed that, feed that. Turn it on. Wait, what? First hard drive. Damaged hard drive successfully acquired. All pioneers are contractually obliged to preserve and secure any recovered hard drives for analysis in the MAM, which may result in benefits to the Fixit mission. Speculation as to why there are crashed freighters in your Fixit designated Speculation zone is discouraged, is discouraged as specified in your contract. That's funny. Don't think too hard about why there's crashed freighters on this planet, okay? Please. You're contractually obligated not to think too hard about this. <laughs> All right. So we're getting into a little... A new visual biome here. Oh boy, with the little poison things. Ugh. Hate that. All right, where are we going here? So something is chasing me. Ouch. Oh, I thought I jumped over him that time. 
Oh, he died in the in the poison cloud. All right, I would like your remains, please. Okay, we're only 380 meters. Uh, we'll just run past the little poison cloud plants. And oh, okay. I don't really remember this area at all. Jeez, this all feels new to me. I know it's not. But, uh, where are we going exactly here? How high up is it? Okay, it's down there in this pit. So, ladders would be nice, but I don't have ladders. Where is a natural ramp down? Which way am I even going? I would like to go east. It looks like there's a natural ramp over here. Okay. Ouch. That was a little... Oh god, it's a spider! Oh god. Jeez. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. I was not ready for you! Uh. Arachnophobia mode is real. Okay, I might actually be okay. I have a lot of berries. Jeez. Just die, please. I thought I'd be okay. Oh my goodness. Oh. Samples wow. of unknown alien species acquired. Initial data suggests these are predators, but notably they yeah, do not have think? a traditional mouth or eyes. There are, however, numerous cavities on their head which could fulfill a similar function. Research the remains in the MAM to establish classification and potential countermeasures. I would like some potential countermeasures. Are there more? I just want quartz. Okay. I don't think I can handle another one. If we see another one, we're running. Just straight up. Problem is, it will probably see us before we see it. Oh, and here's the lightning bugs. You know what? I'm just gonna stay back. Oh, here's a natural gas. Or uh, natural gas. Geothermal geyser. Uh, I should probably mark that on the map. Um, M for map. How do I do markings again? Surely there's a, a button for it. That's water. Is there like a geothermal? Oh, there's all sorts of icons. Um. Hmm. You would have thought they'd have an icon that naturally feels like it's meant for geothermal, but they don't. It's like a cave, plant, water, radioactive, materials, notice, food. Great animal slug. That's interesting. I'll do the power symbol. Name geotherm. Alright. Now, what were all those other. There were lots of options. Um. Subcategory. Thermal. Oh, that's so nice. So then you can collapse and expand. So I can collapse the subcategory when I don't want to be looking at all the geothermals. That'll be nice. Okay, well, hopefully we can make it. We're only 200 meters away. 
Yay, bacon. Potential edible collected. Reminder that look and smell alone do not provide sufficient data to determine exact risk of consumption. Just because it looks like you can eat it does not mean it won't eat you. Research it in the map to establish classification and potential application. There's a slug right here. Ooh, we found our first Mercer Sphere. The astrobiologist Dr. D.M. Mercer was the first to recognize the presence and probable nature of these alien artifacts. These chain melted state spheres are named in his honor. Each sphere emits a unique signal. Research it in the MAM to establish locally appropriate classification and application. Okay, I will. Don't you worry, Ada. Get right on that. Right after I finish not dying to all the things that are trying to eat me. Thankfully, I have not found more spiders. I'm a bit concerned that this quartz vein is gonna have a bad, a bad time guarding it. Uh, which means I should equip bacon. No, the the bacon is two health points per bacon, whereas the berries are only one, so it is twice as good. But I don't have as many. All right, we made it. Impure quartz. Boom. So now we will throw all the miners down and listen to the cacophony. Ah, uh, yes, the hum of many miners. I don't know how much quartz we need, but I'm taking as much as I can get. So for now, we'll go explore and grab a bit more bacon. And then probably should do a map marker. So that I don't forget where this is. Visuals. Quartz mining, and this will be subcategory deposit. All right, compared to my base, I am pretty far to the east. Yeah, so I am just gonna chill here for a minute. Until we have a full inventory, and we will hope that that full inventory is enough to uh, get us our Blade Runners and a couple other quality of life things, maybe. There's more quartz right here. Is that also impure? No, that's a normal. Okay, so there's a decent amount of quartz. I think there's a third one down here, too. Yeah, there's one more over there. All right, give me all the bacon. Bring home the bacon. I think are there slugs? Might as well grab a slug that's nearby if we can find one. But probably one up there. Before I have ladder before I have the zip line where I can zip up a power pole, it's kinda hard to get around vertically. I think that really helps. Once we have that. Alright. Wait, do these go faster on a... I think these go faster on a normal node, so I will actually... 
have a lot less waiting around if we bring them down to the normal node. Which is down there. Uh, is that faster? Yeah, 40 minutes. So it is twice as fast. Two and a half minutes, about, or thereabouts. What can we do in that two and a half minutes? Poke, poke some fireflies. So can you destroy this thing? I forget, or are these indestructible? No, you can, okay. I feel like they changed something with those like little fire bugs at some point, and I don't. They made it better. I don't remember what they changed. Alright. Any slugs? Oh, here's the other quartz. Oh, and here's a pure quartz. Of course. Um... Can I copy a marker? It'd be really nice if you could copy a marker. I like all the settings that I have for that. <laughs> Highlight marker, remove marker. There's no copy. Control C and Control V don't seem to do anything either. It is kind of sad. I was hoping I could copy it. But it's okay. All right, it's fine. Uh, not worth it to have. I was just thinking, like, should we mark each of the three individually? But I don't think it is worth it. All right, here we go. This is going to be a full inventory. Very close to it. Guess I need a couple hundred more here. I just am having fun playing this little mini game. <laughs> I don't know why, but the portable miners are very satisfying to me. I think it's because you can get way more out of one node than with regular miners. Because I could have twice as many of these things. I really should have brought more. Alright, there we go. And I think... I guess I'll just leave them. Not worth taking them home. And having one less slot. So I need to kind of go west and then south. I'll follow the water. And then hopefully there's a ramp out. We can see our space elevator in the extreme distance there. Is this another? Oh yeah, there's two geothermals here. Good to know, good to know. Free power is always quite nice. Ah, Caterium. I need this. I need this. Uh, so I need to get rid of what? Leaves? Leaves and wood? Unknown metal collected. This metallic element is showing properties similar to those in Group 11 on the periodic table, such as high conductivity is. and malleability. We're going to make a man to establish classification and potential application. Ah. Oh, inconvenient. Place for that, I guess. 
Okay. Um. Go eat the berries. Okay. So I research what I could with quartz there. Everything else requires research processed completed. stuff. Quartz crystal recipe unlocked. And then Caterium. New quartz research available. Caterium is great. Caterium will allow us to get electrical stuff. Like the zip The metal line. has been named Caterium after Fixit's greatest CEO, Katerina Parks. It has been added as a viable alternative to gold in industrial applications, specifically in advanced electronics due to its superconductivity, malleability, and corrosion resistance. It's more sulfur. Okay, now where is Caterium, I wonder? Now that I can scan for it. There's none close to here, that makes sense, because the special resource here is quartz. Wow, that's not close at all. 1,200 meters is the nearest. Um, there is some that's actually not too far from our base, though, to the southwest. Oh, it even tells you on the map that it's a pure note? Oh, that's really nice. I don't... Is that new? Again... New since update four, maybe. Uh oh. Oh, that's an alpha spitter. We're just gonna run, run away from that. You don't need to fight difficult enemies with a Xeno poker. We can unlock a better melee weapon called the Xeno Basher, which probably we get unlocked fairly soon. Probably in tier three. But what I really want is the rebar gun. It's very nice to have a ranged weapon. And I'd like to not poison myself to death. Por favor. There's slug up here. More quartz. Uh, oh, is this the same one we already went past? I think it is. Yes. Yes, it is. All right, back we go to our floating space elevator platform that will not be floating for long. that I need to make. I think we mainly just need to progress in technology right now. There's another Mercer Sphere up there. You can see it at the top. We'll have to go grab that. Oh, look, iron. Oh, look, a hog. Fluffy-tailed hog. Not the most difficult of enemies, but that is the point. We made it home. All right, now how do I make silica? Um, oh no. Uh, isn't that where you search for stuff? Raw quartz. Used in quartz. Oh. Wait, what am I doing? Have I not researched silica yet? I thought I did. Or did I need more quartz for it? Let me double check in the ma'am. Quartz. Oh, yeah, I needed 20 quartz and I didn't have it. Okay, there we go. Now research I completed. Be able to Silica recipe unlocked. New quartz research available. Make some quartz. Um. Okay, there we go. You make silica. And I guess I should. Put a little storage container behind this. And I'll 
keep some quartz back for quartz crystals. Turn the rest into silica. And hopefully we can get our blade runners going. Blade runners and zipline will be very nice. We need more storage boxes. Ooh, and I have the Mercer Sphere, too. What's that? Alien technology? Ooh, we got Sam... Not Sam Orr. I want to call it Sam Orr. It's not Sam Orr. All right. Scan the Mercer Sphere. Mercer Sphere analysis completed. Established local planetary signature of Massage 2, A, B, B, in the local Mercer Sphere signals, allowing them to be tracked by the object scanner. Mercer Spheres can also transmit data between specific Witness our scripture, witness our windows, have you come to defile our shrine? Sing us a song. Arguing the existence of Whoa. intelligent alien life. While Fixit has figured out the method, all of the original data is still untranslatable. Okay, so then I need another one, plus 11 Sam Fluctuator. And so we're going to have to find a Sam uh, thing and then make some Fluctuators to get that unlocked. And I think we had it spoiled that we'll also need Steel to make that, I think, if I'm correct. Yeah, we've got some silica now. And what else did I need? Oh, I need modular frames. Crap. Modular frames are a pain in the butt. And I don't even think... Yeah, I don't even have them unlocked yet. So I need some screws. Let me just take all my stuff out here. All right, there we go. Part assembly unlocked, which gets Milestone us the assembler. Reached. The assembler can produce more complex parts, including the first project part, smart plating, which is crucial for initiating project assembly. Project parts must be delivered to the space elevator. By completing your contracted duties as part of project assembly, you will definitely be helping achieve Fixit company goals without any other ulterior motive. Without any Note, other humans ulterior Humans cannot motive. craft project parts. Do not worry about your inadequate crafting skill when compared to an assembler. <laughs> Fixit cherishes your innate human abilities, Thank such you. as walking, striking objects, and commodifying natural resources. Okay, so we'll make our modular frames here. And then should be able to research the Blade Runners now. Noise. Blade Runners unlocked. Equipped to run faster, jump with greater force, and decrease fall damage that might otherwise have lowered your value to fix it. What? My value to fix it is intrinsic, I believed. Alright, and then I also have not remade my equipment workshop. Let's do that here. And we can make Blade Runners! We got leg. How many leg? One leg. Yes. Nice. Run faster, jump higher. Okay, now I can't tell. Am I going higher or not? Hmm, this requires some testing. All right, let's do... Okay, so I can jump on top of a four meter um, with just a normal jump. I cannot get up five meters. 
if I'm running, I don't think that changes. Running jump is the same, yeah, the same vertical. If I, ooh, it does go higher, okay. So a dash, or a slide jump does go higher. Now, then the question becomes, what about when I didn't have Blade Runners? With no Blade Runners, your regular jump cannot get you four meters. It can't even get you three meters, which is probably how tall the splitters and mergers are. Or maybe they're like two and a half or something. It can get you up two meters. Now, what about a slide jump? A slide jump also cannot get you up three meters. So if a slide jump does get you higher, it's not by much. It's not by much at all. Slide jump. Yeah, it really, if you look at like where my cursor is getting to, it's like, I don't know, a few inches above that three meter one. And it doesn't seem much higher when I slide jump. So Blade Runners give you a slide jump that actually improves your jump, whereas your regular slide jump does not improve your jump. Now, the next thing I want to know is about speed. Do I go overall faster if I slide jump or just regular run? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here at the end, and I'm going to time myself running off the edge. And we're going to see how long that takes. And I, I know you guys like science too, so don't say you don't love this. All right, ready, set, go. And I'm just going to run, and I'm going to stop the timer when I fall off the edge. And we'll get poisoned. It'll be great. All right, stop timer. That was seven seconds and 73 uh, hundredths milliseconds. Or centiseconds? I guess milliseconds would be thousandths. Okay, so then we'll do it, and this time I'll be slide jumpy, and we'll see if we can go faster. I don't know if this is a long enough test. I don't have enough hands for all this. Um, because my crouch button is on the mouse. All right, we'll find out if this is faster. It looks like it's not. That was like 760 or so, I don't know. If it is faster, it's not a ton faster. But it feels, it feels no faster than, than running. Like it doesn't feel like I'm slowing down or speeding up when I land versus floating in the air. So I'd say there's no difference. And if there is a difference, it's small. Okay, cool. Science, scienced. Now that the science has been scienced, um, what am I doing with like factory stuff? I can research bacon. Oh my gosh, click. And then that should unlock something that needs steel. What is that? Nutritional processor? This mushroom, dubbed bacon agaric due to its uncanny resemblance to raw bacon, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research Fun. is available. So let's uh, let's get the rest of the walls built here. Zoop, zoop. Oh, it's so nice to have the Blade Runners. Um, is there not a way to build ninety off of? Huh, you'd think there would be. But it doesn't seem like you can rotate. You just have to do it from up here, I guess. All right, now we gotta get up there, which will be far easier with my Blade Runners. Gaps there. Oh, I see a gap. 
see it? There it is. Alright, three is good there. Three. 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 And then there's bushes. I can't see nothing. Wow. I really can't see anything. Where am I? Who am I? Why am I? That's still built up. All right, there we go. And then here, I think I want the foundations. All right, sweet. And then the inside, I think I want a pillar. Feels worth doing big pillar support and we should be able to center that nicely perfect all right i like that and then we need a door don't we or we don't for now I don't have doors unlocked yet, but we'll get doors unlocked. Cool. Uh, why is that invalid placement? What? Oh, there's a rock here that it doesn't like. Oh, there's bauxite? What? Sweet. I don't need that anytime soon. But uh, bauxite's what gets you aluminum. Weird, it let me build these ones, but not these ones. All right, I guess we just go full, full send and build all the foundations here. We have our space elevator platform fully enclosed, so it doesn't look bad. Nice. I think that's the most walls. I, I just built more walls on that thing than I've ever built in the history of playing Satisfactory. I'm pretty sure that's true. <laughs> I have not built very many walls before. <gasps> Can we ride the thing? Yes. Oh yeah, you bounce off of it. I got an achievement. Oh, that's awesome. Whee! All right, will this take me damage? Will this take me damage? That was a sentence. Okay, so that was high enough to cause a little bit of damage, but not much. And we've got four coupons built up. Let's spin, I still have some at the base too, but I'd like lights. Um, oh, right, I did forget that you can do this. Okay, lighting is an organization, but I need quick wire for all of it anyway. So I really need some Caterium. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I need 50 Caterium. Maybe I could find another Caterium rock. Because I might be able to buy some Caterium with uh, coupons. And then if I buy it with the coupons, I don't need to go all the way to a Caterium deposit. So let's look for some shiny rocks. Usually near other big rocks, like over there. I actually see one. I don't, that looks like sulfur though, or limestone. I don't think it's Caterium. A bunch more iron over here. That is an iron rock. What just happened? There we go. That is sulfur, it looks. No, that's not even sulfur, that's just limestone. Boring old limestone. 
I guess I'm not that far from the Caterium, right? Where is it? Over there somewhere, right? Or south? Okay, I thought I was close. I am a kilometer away. Not so much. Hmm. Well, this is the quality of life episode, I guess. Let's go get it. We can get there a lot faster now. Gosh, a lot faster. I think we're like twice as fast as before the Blade Runners. It is a pretty huge difference, I will say. It is a pretty, ouch, huge difference. Okay, so I will need to craft um, some uh, portable miners again, because I left the other ones at the quartz. So we'll craft, I don't know, 10 of these. Quick wire, I will want more of, because that's what we're going to use for lights. And so... We're gonna wanna get this, you know, automated and get a miner and a big belt sooner or later. For now, I think I'm fine with portables though. And let's just get rid of all the stuff. Store all. I think I want my buy all. Oh, the hard drive. I completely forgot about the hard drive. We should get that researching. Those take 10 minutes. Okay, so we'll let that go while we go on our little Caterium journey. Yeah, all the biological stuff I think I want to have in here. The slugs, biofuel, coupons, leaves, wood, all of that. And then the other things will go in this one for now. Don't need that many screws. I would like to have concrete rods and I need plates and wire. And then I, if I need to build something, I can. There's the plates. Okay, I might want more than 10 miners. Actually, now that I think about it, if I'm filling up this much of my inventory, Can the object scanner scan for rocks? I don't think it can, but maybe. All right, surely 18 miners is it. And now off we go. Do I have food? I have 42 pale berries? Yeah, that should be enough. All right, it's only 500 meters from my base. Okay. I was just going the wrong direction earlier. Oh, look, I found Caterium. <laughs> After all that planning, is if this gets me 30 Caterium, I'm gonna laugh. Oh, it didn't. Okay. That makes me feel slightly better. Because that still wasn't enough to do the MAM research. Alright, 200 meters. Is it up or down? I don't know. More iron over here. Looks like it's down here. Ah, oh no! Well, first of all, there's oh no for two reasons. Um, let's grab this slug since I'm literally standing right next to it. Except I can't stand on this tree at all. And there's a hog attacking me. And lots of things are going wrong right now. Okay, let's kill you. Get that done. Grab the slug, if I can get to a spot where such a thing is possible. Wait, what? There we go. Okay. And then, finally, we can get over to our Caterium here.
But the problem is it's got this thing, so we need Nobelisks to blow that off. I think I can still place these around the perimeter. We're fine. What the? Oh, there's a spitter. Ouch. Should probably do something about that. Just a normal one, right? Jeez. Yeah. Hey, uh, ain't kidding around. Samples of unknown alien species acquired. Their weaponized plasma is most likely stored as a stable chemical substance in an organ close to their mouth, and only turns volatile Yum. when exposed to one of the chemical elements in the air. Research the remains in the MAM to establish classification and potential countermeasures. Alright. That's a lot of criteria. Probably not gonna need here for a while. I feel like as much as I am all about doing things the right way in this playthrough, you know, being able to get a few thousand in one manual trip, like I'm not gonna need to automate this for a while. This is a ton of quick wire. I don't know how much the lights cost. I guess if the lights are really expensive, maybe this will run out quicker than I think. But it feels like this should be enough to last me. The main reason I really want uh, the Caterium is for the zipline. The zipline is my favorite way to do verticality. I don't really like the jump pads. I'd rather do vertical, or not vertical, but like up and down ziplines. Um, okay, so now we need a couple foundations here. Copper. What kind of? What kind? Impure and impure. Okay. And that's a limestone rock. Any other interesting rocks down here? Hog. We can get your alien protein to help with the research. I'm as fast as you are now. Look at me go. You thought you were fast, but the Blade Runners are faster. So fast! I love it! Oh, I love it. It's amazing. Except when you hit something like that. Alright, how are we doing on Le Power? It's like we're nice and backed up for a while here. Yeah, we're good. Alright, next research. Oh, the hard drive's not done. We outpaced it. In that case... We have a little box here for all our cat. Catty Reum. And... Yeah, things are starting to look pretty good here. Let me finish pillar. Okay. Hold one over here.
I've gotten lucky so far. I haven't had anything in the way of where I'm building the pillars. This one might not be so lucky. Oh, no, actually, I think we're okay. All right. And honestly, like, I know that we probably should have another pillar in the center or something, but this is at least enough to be believable for me. You know, it doesn't have to actually be physically capable of holding itself up. But at least it's not, you know, a floating platform is what I'm going for here. And then I do want to do like doors and walls and stuff at some point, but that'll be I need to at least get through the basic early game stuff so I can have, you know, the resources to build all those things. And I want to get a lot of the awesome sync stuff unlocked. So I have like the the window conveyor things, conveyors that go through walls, which I don't have yet. So we'll need a few awesome points first. Yeah, what's my next milestone? I should work on those. I guess logistics mark two. Which requires reinforced plates. That will be the first thing I do up here. Um, be an assembler. I need rotors. Uh, which I don't know what goes into those. What goes into rotors these days? A rotor needs screws and rods. Okay. I want to say I have rods in here. Not really. Believe it or not. Okay, the mam is done. Mammy jammy. I think I want to store what I will call normal stuff in a different box. Oh, of course, I have nothing. Uh, a different box than the like exotic ores. I think I want exotic ores in their own storage thing. That's plenty of screws. And let's go see what our hard drive has got for us. Hard drive analysis completed. Alternative recipe selection available in the MAM. These are both terrible for what I want right now. Um, I think I will rescan it. Fine concrete is turning quartz into limestone, right? That's pretty bad. Um, what kind of ratio are we talking though? Silica is... Le so quartz is actually 1.4, no, uh, man, 5 thirds. Whatever 5 thirds is, 1.67. So a silica is less than one raw ore. Um, it's not very fast to be processed, but being able to... Uh, what just happened? Oh, you have to go into the hard drive library. Okay, that scared me. Um, so... Basically, you're getting 10 concrete instead of what would normally be 4 concrete. So those three silica is getting you six concrete. That's a, okay, that's a lot. Especially given that that three silica isn't even three quartz ore. You're basically talking like two quartz ore, roughly, is getting you six concrete. That's a pretty huge amount of concrete gain and it changes to 50 per minute in an assembler. I still don't really think it's that good. I'd rather have one that I want for the early game. There we go. Stitched iron plate. That's what we're talking about. Or cheap silica. So normally... Is that cheap, though? <laughs> um, I mean, it's less quartz for your silica, I realize, but... I guess you could use the cheap silica in conjunction with the cheap concrete, and then you're using a really small amount of quartz. Uh, but yeah, stitched iron plate is pretty good, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. And they might have changed it. I don't know. Is this good? So normally I would need 18 iron plates, and here I only need 10. 
And normally I would need 36 screws. And instead I need 20 wire. So we're comparing 20 wire to 36 screws, which is easier. Um, screws are... 40 a minute. What did I say? 20 wire to 36? So, almost... Full... Almost a full minute of screw crafting. Plus it's two steps. Whereas wire... Yeah, this is way better. It's just that it uses copper um, to make something that's normally made out of only iron. But other than that, I think it is far a far better recipe. So I will go with stitched iron plate. Ta-da! <laughs> Master Chef. Alternate recipes. Now, I don't think you can use alternate recipes, yeah, when you're handcrafting. But when we build an assembler, which, can I do that yet? Yes, I need some rotors, but I have them. So, like, in this guy, you can see that we can do either. Also, it's slightly faster, right? 5.6 a minute instead of the other one, which is 5 a minute. It's not a huge difference. When we get overclocking and underclocking, then we could underclock this slightly to produce the same output. Basically save some power. Uh, but it's, that one's not a big enough difference to make a huge deal. I also forgot we can now research power slug. So that's a thing. Um, it's all sorts of little researches. But first was to do Caterium. So we do that. Three seconds. Noise. And then we need to make some quick wire. Research completed. Caterium ingot recipe unlocked. New Caterium research available. I don't have any power up here yet. Uh, why not just leave that there? It's not hurting me. And quick wire is a type of ingot. Or quick wire. Quick wire is not the ingot. Caterium ingot is a type of ingot, and I need Caterium ingots to make quick wire. One word at a time. All right, so we make a smelter, and then that makes Caterium ingots. And then we'll put a constructor in front of that. That will make quick wire once we can. Now, throw a storage container behind it, throw in our Kateria more. I will deconstruct this before long. I just need to get this stuff processed. How many ingots did you want, my friend? I do wish it kept the window open that you had open previously. Uh, every time you go back, you have to re, re find where you left off. But yeah, we're only gonna need 100 quick wire to unlock the zip line, and then 50 ingots to unlock quick wire. So we don't need that much. And how do I get? I'm trying to remember, is it? Do you need black powder and sulfur for the rebar gun, or does the rebar gun come with regular unlocks? I can't remember anymore. Oh, there's the rebar gun. It's right there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I just need to turn my little fluffy hog remains and such into... All the alien stuff, and I can research these other ones as well. 
Oh, I haven't collected the hatcher remains. Oops. The remains researched belong to an organism with eight jointed legs, similar to the legs of arachnids, but with not standard distribution and function. Because its attacks focus on stabbing prey with the ends of their legs, which resemble insectoid stingers, they have been dubbed stingers. Yep. Stinger remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Alright, hog protein. The remains researched belong to an organism that tends to nest near objects emitting specific types of resonance. Spitters are called as such due to their ability to create and spit plasma across long distances. Spitter remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. Research completed. Alien protein can now be turned into biomass or alien DNA capsules. In addition to being used for research, the invaluable alien lifeform data in these capsules can be traded for fix-it coupons at the awesome sink. Awesome. We guarantee the best capsule to coupon exchange rate anywhere on this planet. Well, uh, it's the only exchange rate on this planet. Okay, so a DNA capsule is one per protein. Not very much. Did I need 10? What did I need? Uh, okay, I only need 5 and then 100 iron. Is this just a research node that doesn't do anything, basically? Research to develop the rebar gun is now available. When completed, you will be in possession of a tool effective against any local obstacles actively objecting to the fix-it mission. The fix-it mission. Obstacles, we call them. Yes. You say fluffy-tailed hog, I say obstacle opposed to the fix-it mission. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll get our rebar gun, and that helps a lot, because then you can keep your distance. It's not... I kind of like that it's not an amazing weapon. Like, you really... It, it reloads pretty slow, and, you know, you have to be pretty accurate with it, but it, it kind of adds to the progression when you finally get better weapons. I also think it's interesting there's different ammo types for the rebar now. That was not a thing when I played last. I think they added that in update 5 or 6. And they added new types of nobilisks and all sorts of stuff. So that's pretty exciting. But yeah, we've got the rebar gun. Well, not quite, but we've almost got the rebar gun. We've got the blade runners. We've almost got the... Uh, zipline, those are all pretty big deals. The zipline in particular, you can easily traverse, you know, up and down cliffs with it, and that's kind of the main main thing I use it for. And I'm, I guess we'll find, I think, am I remembering correctly that it, you don't have to have the power lines powered up, the zipline on them? Why can't I remember if that's a thing or not? I guess we'll find out. Um, all right, we got what we need? Yes, the rebar gun. Hello. Rebar gun and iron rebar ammo unlocked. Need Your ingenuity rips. towards preservation of fix it property has been noted. You earned a micro break. And welcome back. <laughs> I hope you feel refreshed. Oh, my micro break was amazing, Ada. Thank you so much. You're so kind. You shouldn't have. All right, rebar gun. Come here, buddy. And then rebar, which is obviously made from iron rods. Not the most surprising ammo recipe. And you can automate this, but given how how long it takes to reload each shot, like one stack of rebar ammo lasts for quite a while. So you don't you don't really need to automate this. Um, the other ammo that the gun uses, you kind of blow through it pretty quick. But in, in fact, I'm just going to stop now. So we can exemplify or example this. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, 
Uh, I'm not touching anything right now. Something glitched out here. That was weird. Maybe if you hold R, that pops up. Yeah, but it didn't disappear when I let go. That was weird. I think the reload is faster than it used to be. Maybe not. I feel like it used to reload even slower than that. But there you go. We got our rebar gun. And now we need our Caterium stuff. Uh, take the Caterium ingots. Caterium. Research quick wire. Beautiful. And then now we can make some quick wire. Research completed. Quick wire recipe unlocked. New Caterium research available. And one ingot makes five quick wires, so it's like way more dense, or the ingots are way more dense than wire, than regular copper wire. But then, oh, but then the ingots are three ore to one ingot, that's right. So it's really three ore to five quick wire, which actually makes quick wire slightly less than copper. Normally three ore would get you six wire. So it's kind of a weird, like the ingots are denser, and then the wire is back to un undensifying it. And can I? Oop! I'm gonna need to. I don't know. Maybe do this. Not sure yet how we're gonna want to do that. But uh, can I handcraft the quick wire? Yes. Yes, we can. So we'll help out the constructor there. And I need 100 for the research. And then I'm going to guess 100 more for the zip line. We'll see. We shall see what it requires. All right. Research. I have the 50 cables, so that's no problem. Zipline unlocked. When equipped, oh, the zipline facilitates travel along power lines, regardless of whether the line is powered. Note, yep, there based is. on previous Pioneer events, Fixit recommends not using ziplines during thunderstorms and typhoons, or while drinking coffee. Oh, so nice. You can just easily hop from one thing to the next. I think it's slower. I feel like I'm having a lot of these, like, feeling, like, is this slower than it used to be? Maybe. It's still very good. But I feel like it used to be a little faster in terms of, like, the lateral movement speed. This is kind of slower. I, it feels slower than just, like, running with my... Things. No, it's about the same. Maybe I'm just being rose-colored glasses for the past. But yeah, it's so nice to be able to, like, you know, get on top of miners like this and just... Or you can jump from high up, but then catch yourself so you don't take fall damage. Ugh. Sometimes you get a little, a little lost. I do think it's slightly slower than it used to be, which is fair, to be honest. It was very good before. And again, that's me remembering from three years ago, so it's possible my memory's just totally, uh, like I said, rose-colored glasses on that. That's very possible. Okay, now I'd like to unlock whatever this is, because I have the quick wire for it, Caterium Electronics. New Caterium research options available. Congratulations on finding this metal. Many Fixit initiatives will benefit from Caterium's applicability in advanced engineering. Also, it is probably not sentient and so unlikely to feel pain as we exploit it. Unlikely. I can also research stun rebar, which is something I've never seen before. 
Stun rebar ammo unlocked. This applies a moderate electric charge to the target, damage, capable of stunning small creatures and moderately delaying larger ones. Interesting. This is quite atomically exciting. That was a physics joke. <laughs> nice. Good joke, Ada. Good, good joke. Sweet. Okay, well, we got a lot of quality of life stuff done. Let's go look at our awesome points as well. Our uh, awesome sync coupons. And I think I still have a bunch up here. I have eight. Yep. Sweet. Because I want to design my base around having the Blade Runners or a jetpack and having the zip line. And so it just, it doesn't make sense to build, you know, your base all around not having those things. Um, so I can have street lights, but until I have steel, I can't do flip lights or indoor lighting. Interesting. Um, and these signs can also be used as lights, I want to say. I search light. Those are the only things. Let's try street lights. And what else did I want? I want conveyor walls at some point. Um, we'll want roof at some point as well. Oh, those need quartz, not criteria. Let's get the label signs. Let's do the floor. Lift holes. Maybe wall outlets? Where did you leave your lizard doggos? What's in this storage container? Where did you put the essential components needed to save humanity? Where did I Do you leave wish my there was tax to prevent you from constantly taking the wrong turn? Disguise your struggles to comprehend the complexity of your surroundings with signs. All right, so I need quartz crystals, and that should let me make displays. Oh god, I just realized how long this episode is already. Um, Alright, so if I like put that there... You have to configure it. See, this is, this is the reason why there's part of me that's like, I don't want to have to... Well, it's like, I don't want it to say anything. I know you can copy settings, but... It would be kind of nice if you could just have a mode of like build lights for lighting. Because can't you set these to be just pure white? Yeah. And so you can do that, you know, and then if you place another one though, then you have to copy the settings over. I wonder if there's a way, maybe the Maybe the customizer. Can you do that with the customizer? No. Customizer doesn't work for those. So those just aren't very bright. What if I put... A four meter one up here. Oh, they do these not face down? These might only face sideways. Mm -hmm. Not easy. Yeah, see, it, this is the this is the reason I may not like the lumen settings all that much is because it's like that technically makes light, but barely. It doesn't like cast light very far, even though it's so bright here. Now I know that these are not the lights that are meant to be like indoor lighting lights, um, and these are annoying because you have to power each one of them up. 
And look at that. See, I hate that. I hate that it only provides light in such a small little circle. So you have to build them all over the place, and then there's these weird light patches and these weird dark patches. Lumen is cool, but I also think it's just not quite... I don't know. Like, it's... these are such hard lines. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. If, if the lighting was more diffused, I think I'd like it a lot more. But as is, it kind of feels like you just have to have so much light everywhere to properly light the area. And that's like too bright. Really, I want that intensity down to like that. But I'd have to put a street light every five seconds, you know, to light this whole area. And I just don't know if I want to have to place that many streetlights. I don't know. I wish it was more like I could place a few streetlights and they would at least spread some amount of light over the whole area. Because um, Lumen is cool, but I just, I don't know if the amount of work that it takes to do proper lighting is uh, work that I want to have to do. So, still to be determined. Uh, you guys leave a comment and let me know what you think about the whole women thing. Um, the ceiling lights I don't unlock till steel, unfortunately. That's part of the problem, too. The ceiling lights might spread the light a little further. The street lights, I'm a little disappointed how small of a circle uh, they produce light in. It's also... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know of a different way I could do that. So yeah, I might just end up turning that off. The lumen setting. It does look cool, though. We'll see. We'll see. The ceiling lights might be good enough. But I won't know till I, till I have steel, so... Okay, and then I wanted to research the power slugs. And then we'll probably have to call it an episode, because this has gotten to be a long one. Sorry, YouTube people. You're sitting there like, ha ha ha, we finally get a long episode. You guys don't tend to mind. Alright. This semi-slug, now dubbed Power Slug, is power only slug. in its life cycle and has retained only part of its potential energy storage capacity, giving it its blue color. Power slugs are capable of extracting latent energy from their surroundings, including through a form of photosynthesis, and preserve it in their porous semi-crystalline shell over their lifetime. This explains why they rarely move after having found a suitable location. There you go. I also, um, haven't... I... I don't... I never registered that they changed from green to blue. It used to be green, yellow, and purple. Right? Or am I Berenstein, Berenstein bearing myself? Mandela effect. My brain is convinced they were green and yellow and purple. Power slugs extract and not blue, latent energy from their surroundings to sustain themselves. By tuning the object scanner to the particular potential energy signature, it is now able to locate them against the background environmental static. All right, and so now it is worth making an object scanner because then you can go slug hunting. And you can right click to change what you're looking for here. So it looks like I can search for Mercer spheres, mushrooms, power slugs, pale berries, barrel nuts. So when you're going hunting for certain things, you uh, can do so. For now, I mostly just want my zoomies and I mean, I, I don't need anything else. Probably the chainsaw, to be honest. And then everything else can be put away for now. Because I'm not going to need to do any shooting. Nuts and berries can be put away. And then this is the exotic materials dump. Perfect. 
Everything else is needed for factorying. All right, sweet. Well, that was a good episode. We got a lot done. Uh, very little in terms of the factory, but a lot in terms of the meta factory, as in things that help make building the factory easier. So we will be doing a lot more in the coming episodes. These things are sweet, so you can just attach the lifts to them, you know, on the top and then on the bottom. And so you can... I don't think you can connect belts to those, yeah. But that's how you can kind of have a, a solid, you know, floor slash ceiling, but still be able to move materials pretty easily. Without, ha what you used to have to do was weird janky solutions, or you can just straight up have one hole like this and then bring stuff up. But now there's a nice solution with those conveyor lift floor holes. So that's really cool. And that makes building clean factory floors way easier. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna call it an episode there. Uh, for those of you on YouTube, didn't the vertical belts just clip through? I think they did. I think you could just clip them through, but this is way better. Way better. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. As always, I'm excited to continue playing. I have no idea what lies ahead of us, especially with all the new content that they've added. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I guess I have a little bit of an idea. Hello, Space Whale. Uh, because I did watch some of the spoilers, but I know there's lots that they didn't spoil as well, so... Oh, do you bounce higher each time? I think I maybe hit the limit. Or am I getting higher every time? I think... I think I've reached a limit, okay. But yeah, I think he might have gotten stuck here. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, if I, can I poke you, get out of here. Can I chainsaw you? Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, whatever. All right, I'm going to head out. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, for those of you here on Twitch, uh, stick around. I'm going to keep streaming. I'll see you guys next time.